Okay, right. So three boxes contain some counters. The ratio of counters in box A to B is 5 to 3. The ratio of counters in box B to C is 2 to 1. Some counters are removed from box A. 54 counters are moved from box B to box C. And there are now the same number of counters in each box. And the question we are asked is how many counters were in box A at the start? Now, it actually looks like quite a complicated question because there's a lot going on and it's a more complicated presentation than some of the other questions. Other questions might have three boxes, but they have given us a ratio um, of all three at the same time. But here it's separated. So it's actually the perfect sort of question to illustrate how powerful a bar model can be. So we're going to draw what well, I'm going to draw, um, a bar for each of these blocks, each of these boxes. Okay, so the ratio of counters in box A to B is 5 to 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so that's A. And then B is going to have three parts, three equal size parts for the five equal parts in A. So that's that piece of information. The ratio of counters in box B to box C is two to one. So for every two parts of B, there is one of C. Okay, so I've got two parts here. That would be one part here. But I only have one part here. So it looks like I'm going to have to divide. So for every two of these half parts, I will get one half part here. And now I've divided here. I'm going to divide all of the rest of them so that my parts remain equal. Okay. So I've now dealt with that piece of information. Okay, some counters are removed from box A. Okay, we don't know how many, so I'm just going to remind myself there. Some are, are going from A. Actually, what I'm going to put in is we're going to, this is at the start. And I'm putting that in there because I know some are going and also Remember, the question is asking us how many how many counters were in box A at the start. So this actually is my question here. That's what I want to work out. Okay, so what do we know? So A, some counters are removed. All right, we don't know how many that's going to be. 54 counters are moved from box B to box C. So that's going to be 54. Right, so how are we going to deal with that? Now, okay, actually, we've got that piece of information. There are now the same number of counters in each box. So A, B, and C are going to have the same number of counters. Now, we don't know what's happening with A. We know that some counters are going to be removed. We know that 54 counters are going from B to C and in the end B and C will have the same number of counters. Now this is where they ma where they have an equal number of counters. So these three parts are going to have to be shared equally in order to achieve equality. So I've got three parts here. What I'm going to have to do is divide them further to give me six parts and then half of these will have to go to C if B and C are to have the same number of pieces. So what I'm going to do is shade in those okay and they are going to move there and there we go, one, two, three. And as I earlier did say that if I'm going to subdivide one, I'm going to subdivide the rest. That's what I'm going to do. I don't actually need to, but 
I, I will anyway. Okay. So now all the parts are equal. Okay, so I've moved three parts from here to here and we now have the same number of counters in B and C. Now we know that 54 counters were moved, so that means that this must equal 54. So now I need to divide 54 by 3 because I have three parts here to find out the value of each of those parts. So 54 divided by 3, that equals 18. And so each of these has a value of 18. Now, what are we asked here? We're asked the, the value of A at the start. How many counters were in A at the start? What I'm going to do is find out the value of each of these parts here. So that's 18 times 2. And that equals 36. And how many of these parts are there? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 36 times 10, that gives me 360, of course. And that is our answer. That's how many counters were in box A at the start. Okay, I hope that helps.